Hello, I'm Player State, and welcome to a new indie game video. Today, we're going to take a look at Song of Silence, Songs of Silence, um, which has just come out in early access. Came out today. Um, it's a strategy game that's got a turn-based overworld, um, but a auto battler kind of combat system where you play cards as the computer does all the battling for you. So it sounds quite interesting. Uh, so let's jump in. Have a look. The Siege of Elbin. After the destruction of her home, Queen Lorelei of Echengard is seeking a safe haven for a ragtag group of survivors. In the allied realm of Elbin, the refugees are drawn into a brutal war caused by the slowly encroaching silence. Sounds depressing. <laughs> I will never forget the last days of Erengard. The day the purgatory came. The day our homeland was devoured by silence. The day everything turned to dust. Hmm, ominous. All right. Uh, I guess I just play cards. A war without end. It doesn't tell me anything. So I just. Uh, I don't know what these do. Attack on him is eight pound, push them away. Been there. Either to save them or to perish by their side. Affected friendly units become immune to damage. Alright. <laughs> I lost that battle, I guess. I'm supposed to lose that battle. Only I remained to protect the survivors of our once mighty kingdom. But in my darkest hours, doubt took hold. How can I lead these people? Where to? Am I really worthy to be their queen? It's a bit of a weird reverb or kind of like In my moment of despair, the, uh, audio. a golden light appeared from above. It was Isla, a holy celestial bird who had once guided my mother. I hear you, faithful guardian. Please show us the way. Guided by Isla, Lorelei heads for the Allied Kingdom of Elvin. Her only hope is that Hauser, a loyal friend Hauser. of her father and aide to Elvin's king, can grant her people sanctuary. At long last, the at people, long last, Oops, no. the people of Erengard <laughs> arrive at their destination, but something's amiss. Elbin's roads, fields, and villages are deserted. An ominous silence hangs thick in the air. Just before we get started, just want to say thank you to the developers for giving me a free review copy. So, so we can check this out. Uh, let's dive in. I do like the uh, painterly style of the graphics. It's very um, Look, eye catching. Look, everyone. Isla has found Elbin's capital. If we make haste, we could be there on the morrow. On the morrow. Your objective, follow Isla to the city in the east. Lorelei must survive. Oh. And another, let's just look at those again. Uh, keep Aaron, Aaron guards, refugees alive, three of three. And so your journey begins. Messages like this will help you learn the game. All messages have a more detailed lecture in the game manual. Click the menu button in the top left corner to find these lectures and read them at any time. You can disable or reactivate tutorial message in the game settings. Game manual. Oh, there we go. Commanding armies. Moving armies is a fundamental aspect of waging war. Select your armies with a left mouse button. Then use the right click to move your armies. Armies have limited movement points per turn as shown on their portrait. Now move your armies towards the east, sitting in the east. 
Uh, why has this come up? Oh, because I did the wrong thing. Oh. There's some enemies. I can zoom in and see. So got five power, four health, level one. Got one ranged. They're a weapon master. Attack at range. Unlike normal range units, weapon masters do not suffer penalties to their power when engaged in melee. Two pierce. Two power when attacking beasts or horror units. And one unwavering. Unwavering. So these kind of like heroes, a bit like what you get in Heroes of Might and Magic, I guess. Um, and you can upgrade this stuff, I would assume, as you play. Battle time. Halt! State your name and kingdom! I'm Prince... Queen Lorelei of Erengard. We seek an audience with King Atron. You're an ally of Elben, then, which makes you our enemy. Whoops. <laughs> right, this isn't going to... Ah, it does now. Battles, welcome on the battle. Sorry, welcome to the battlefield, maybe that should be. General, units behave automatically. It is your duty to set them up in favorable positions before the battle even begins. Battle cards allow you to directly influence the fight. The knight charge is ready to use. Drag it onto an enemy unit to charge. Check out the card tooltips to learn what they do. The battle is currently paused. You can pause and unpause it at any time via the button in the bottom right corner. Okay, that'd be nice if there was a key to do that. Maybe there is. Um, cards played during the pause will execute once the battle commences. Unpause the battle now and claim your first victory. Well, I'll just do this first. Oh, that was a shove. Yeah, space pauses. Okay. So what else we got? Fallen combatants of target units have a 10% chance to be revived. Damaged combatants of target units are healed for up to one health. Well, it's not much health, is it? Play this card into the retreat area on the left side of the battlefield to immediately end the battle. This counts as a lost battle, but your army will take all loot, wagons, and artifacts with it, without a risk of them being stolen by the enemy. Oh, interesting. Right, let's um, heal some people. Probably should have charged these lot because they're. Um... There we go. Now they're running away. <laughs> it's not as cool that they're on bulls, not horses. Elben is at war? So we've got one level, 104 experience and 52 gold. A cold shiver runs down Lorelei's back. She came here for safe shelter. What will become of her people now? Elbin, at war with Friedland. Her situation is even more desperate. I have to hurry. The capital might be in danger. Right. Oh, do I have to end turn? Everyone else is playing their turns. Now it's my turn. <laughs> the way they go. <laughs> Zoom off. Lorelei rides with all haste through Silverstein's crowded streets, headed for King Atron's throne room. Her old friend Hauser lowers his mirrored mask and greets Lorelei with a warm yet weary smile. Elvin's monarch is nowhere to be seen. Uh oh. Milady, it's good to see you, though the skies over Elvin grow dark. What brings you here? I need your help, old man. A purgatory has consumed Erengard. Gods help us. This is grave news indeed. And your parents, your highness? They. I'm queen now. I'm so sorry. I'm sure King Atran will grant you sanctuary. But first, we need to rescue him from Doran Citadel to the north. My people are tired, old man, but if we must. Thank siege you. ends in six turns. We need to break the siege before the Citadel's defenses are breached. At your 
command. What's this? Build up. Not enough prosperity. The location has accumulated enough hasn't accumulated enough prosperity yet to be ready to be upgraded. Okay, so it's that's interesting. So when you play a city, uh, when you have a city, it's like playing a card to upgrade it. You can now you now have access to a city. You can right click any army and location to expect it and get a more detailed look. Inspect your city. So we got 30 gold per turn. 15 building materials. Seven divine favour. It's the capital. It has storage. It's fortified two, garrison two, and supply three. This is Lorelei's army, currently inside the city of Silberstein. To learn more about any of your units, right click them to open their details. Tooltips explain each unit's special ability icons. Drag and drop units to change their positions. The, the location also ser offers several recruitment options, represented by the grey cards in the bottom. Drag them to an empty position to recruit new units. Recruitment costs resources. Recruit a new unit now. So we've got Hearth Guards, who are an infantry. Infantry. They're good against cavalry. Don't know what banding means. Uh, we've got Small Rangers. And then we've got Iron Sworn. We've got a Devastating Charge, Armour and Fast. How much gold have we got? I'm going to do these guys. Uh, put these here. Nope. Ah, oh, they're, they're, um, yeah, I'll definitely have some of those. And so it looks like we're healing while we're here as well. Is it going up as I'm staying in the town? Or is it just, I'm not quite sure. Right, siege ends in six turns. I guess we better move out then. Ah, uh, la 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 la. Uh, so how can we see? No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, never mind. We're attacking now. This is probably a bad thing. <laughs> yep, look at them, they just got rinsed. <laughs> Completely rinsed. What does this do? Summons two Lunar Knights into the target area. Okay, we'll just do that then. Missed them. This isn't going very well. Although those Lunites things are quite powerful. Play Sky, okay, we don't want to retreat. Is it going to do damage? It does do damage. They played that quite poorly, I feel. Victory! We shall prevail. Praise the light! Level up! By earning enough battle experience, I you're- I am sorry about your parents. I should have been there. I'm glad you weren't. You would have only shared my father's fate. You must be cautious, milady. We can't afford to lose your bloodline. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff. By earning enough battle experience, your hero has gained a level up. Congratulations! While your hero is selected, play the level up card onto their army to earn the rewards. Howls are the Radiance. With each new level, your hero becomes more powerful. You can either choose to unlock a completely new card or upgrade a card already in your possession. Each card can be upgraded twice becoming more powerful each time. Each hero has access to a different pool of cards depending on their class. Choose wisely. Sometimes you are also rewarded with an increased army capacity. This means you can feel more units in battle. Protection. Afflicted friendly units become immune to damage, negative morale and fear for 6 seconds. Divine Revenge. Affected friendly combatants explode on death. <laughs> okay. Or we can upgrade. Oh, I'm going to upgrade because that looked quite good, that one. What I want to know is how do I... Oh, there we go. We just left click on. Uh, 
Okay, if you move here, you can't move further. Why not? It says I've got three of five. Oh, it's, oh no, okay, that's three of five troops left. No movement points left. Please hurry, my lady. No, select the people. Ah! <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> I keep doing the wrong thing. All right, there's a lot of people on here. Um, let's charge over here. I think my uh, rangers are dead. <laughs> I don't know, it feels, I don't feel like I've got much agency over my battles. I do think I'm going to lose this, which is a bit weird because... I'm not really sure what else I could have done. Well, maybe I'm not going to lose it. But I've lost most of my forces. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about these auto battles. Need to play a bit more. It would be nice if they both, if you could have both people fight at the same time as well. If you could bring, if they're close by, they could bring them, their, um, allies in. Though superior in numbers, the invaders cannot compete with Erengard and Elbin's combined will to survive. A visible relieved King Atran rides forth to meet Lorelei in front of Dohran uh, Citadel. I am forever in your debt, but alas, I must request your assistance one more time. I'm not here to fight. All I want is a new home for my people. The Friedland capital can be that home. Just help me end this war. Then I will oblige, but only for the sake of House Arangard. Hauser, Queen Lorelei will need your support. Go! Attack Sternzicht at once! At your command. That was a bit of a change of tone. A once proud city, many years of conflict have taken their toll on Friedland's capital, Sternsicht. From atop a crumbling battlement, their aging matriarch, Raduin, surveys her kingdom's war efforts. Let's rest or stay close to our healers. You rescued the king. Well done. Your army suffered some losses. Don't fret. As long as there are some survivors, a unit can be healed back to its full strength, free of charge. To do so, you must leave them inside a location with a supply perk, like this fortress. Each turn, they will restore some of their lost health and fighters. Always try to keep damaged units safe by placing them in your army's reserves. The this fortress also offers new unit recruitment options. Don't forget to rest and refill your army supply regularly. Right, level up. We can upgrade this, or we can have some more actions. Call reserve. Call the strongest combat unit from your armor reserves onto the battlefield, running towards the position indicated by your card placement. Affected friendly units gave plus one power bonus when attacking, last six seconds. Also, immediately triggers a charge, allowing the unit to move faster. The charge even works while stuck in melee. Uh, let's take that one. And we've got, what's this? Army capacity. Okay, so we lost all of our um, infantry units, but this is a knight, so that's like horse rider, isn't it? Just take another one anyway. Oh no, they are actually me melee units. Can 
Can I put this guy in as well? Oh, flipping heck. No, they can't. Two of the armies have met. You can now dra freely drag units between them. Yeah, we won't do that for now. Let's just end turn. Right, how's my army doing? Healed some. I don't know whether you should just be waiting for longer. Um, I think we should just get another set of infantry units to replace the ones we lost. Um, that's it. You need to deselect and then select. So we've got... Not The garrison's not very big. So I think we're going to move forward. Lay siege. This location is fortified. You must lay siege before you can capture it. Depending on the rank of the location's fortified perk, you must wait for several turns before you can attack. Units with a siege perk can reduce this time. Be careful. While your enemy looks inwards towards the besieged location, any attack from the outside will result in an ambush. Use cars or additional armies to protect your siege armies. Okay. Ah. No. No, what, like, what? Why is this, like, a bit awkward to select? It's so bizarre. Seize ends in one turn. Alright, let's end turn then. Oh, they're laying siege. Six turns, though. Gates breached! Do I want to battle or do I want to end the siege hmm tough to know <laughs> let's attack wait where are all my archers gone oh did they die oh, they, they died didn't wait no what why did it look like there were some archers still in the building in the army, sorry. But they did die, didn't they? There's one guy's on his own. What's he doing over there? Oops, that's not what... I didn't mean to do that. How can I cancel it? Cancel. No, oh, never mind. Yeesh, these are getting rinsed. Um, let's heal you. Is that a victory? Victory! What's on your mind, my lady? You've lived this war for years, haven't you? I'm sure there's much to learn. No doubt about it. I'll elaborate later. What is this here? Passive armor. So we've got neutral armies as well, just like in Heroes of Might and Magic. Pillage. Play on a location while it is unrest state. Pillage location for a large amount of gold but reduces its prosperity level by one. If a location's prosperity level is reduced to zero, it is destroyed. Buildings in the target location are also destroyed and yield extra gold rewards. Can I do anything in here? I can just pillage. Build up. I guess we just pillage then? Burn it down! Once unleashed, the rampaging army cannot be stopped. On Orangen is destroyed in a matter of hours. Play on the rebuild location to rebuild its prosperity level 1. 
thing is now, I don't want to attack. Okay, so we're besieged, so we can't get out. Gonna have to end turn. Oh, for goodness sake, another attack. Disperse those lot because that is annoying. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're all together, so they can all get healed at the same time. It's handy. Don't always run away. Let them run. They are worthy opponent. They were worthy opponents. Right, we're just gonna have to attack. Maybe we get some bonuses because it's attacking from behind. We really need to kind of really going to need to build up our forces after this. Um, charge there! Oh my goodness! I think we're going to be okay. It's hard to tell. But our army's going to be down to the bare bones. Let's give these guys a boost. Oh! Some healing. Maybe should have gone against the hero first. I don't know. Another meaningless victory. Let us end this conflict quickly. Lorelai cannot help but wonder how the celestial gods can watch idly while their devoted servants continue to kill one another. Is their blessing still with us? Here's your first lesson about this war. Once, Friedland and Elben were allies. But then, four generations ago, Friedland's eastern lands were consumed by silence. So people began migrating west. Food was short, and tempers even shorter. Right, you come out. You go in. No. Nope. Can't move any further. Okay. Well, you go back in then. No, for goodness sake, man. You have to click twice. Why do you have to click twice? Right. What's going on? Oh, I got, I got a bunch of gold. Uh, so this is the garrison. I don't want. I mean, I get more knights, but I need. Why are these in the reserves? I I need more knights, but I have to run all the way back to the other place. Can I? Can I just buy? I can just buy, can't I? Can buy some archers. I've got archers here. Iron sworn. Yeah. So if we were like, oh, we have to put them in a the garrison.
and then someone can go pick them up. Problem is that we've got these these guys here heading for the town. It's quite a lot going on. Um, and it feels so early impressions are that you have to battle quite a lot and you can lose troops quite quickly. I don't know how much tactics really comes into it. Um, I suppose the tactics of when to play the cards, but it feels like you just need to wait at numbers. Wait at numbers plus good at good. So like I'm sure I'm, I assume there's like some some units are better against others. So you need to marry those two together. So you can see the power here. So we've got power two, power seventh, seven and power two, and then my troops. No. Power three, power two, so they would get rinsed. Um, can I build this up at all? Not enough prosperity. What is prosperity? Higher location level needed. Pla uh, not including enough prosperity yet to be able to upgrade to the next level. I don't, I don't understand what that means. Oh, is it here, this one here? I assume it's this one here. Plus two per turn. Okay, so next turn it'll be high enough. Um, let's uh, end turn. We can hire another bunch of these. Wait, what? Did I not have another unit of those there? I guess not. I can level up now. Build up. I've got to do this when I'm outside. Yeah. So that's giving me a catapult. I will take that. What does this mean? I oh, can rename stuff. Build up and go to level three. Okay. Wait, what? Why does it keep? Oh, I don't really know what's going on there. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, yeah, I, I, it's hard to tell. I mean, you need to play a bit more, but, and, oh no, see, see that's, like, I'm kind of getting used to the, the clicking, but it is a bit awkward. There's a lot of stuff in it. You need a lot of, a big army to attack here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. And I can only take six. My person can only have six troops. Seven troops. Um, so you have to... No, no. You have to... Left click. Left click, right click. Five, six, and five. All right, let's go. Let's have one more battle. If run have, we'll melt right through our armor. Don't attack with our knights. Okay, well that's no good then, is it? Um, right click. A settlement. Let's go take the settlement then. Why can I not go there? Oh, because I can't see it yet. Can't move further. Well, you go into... No. You go in there. So double clicking, uh, double clicking until you get the magnify to show you can look at something is, is I don't think it's, it's too, it's too awkward. I think they got some extra troops just then. Um, it's too easy to accidentally make troops move, I think. Why 
Why can I not? Oh, I got dragged, don't I? That's right. Someone charged there. Oh, I'm down to one cavalry now. Where's my hero? My hero dead. What's going on over here? There's this one person like just sitting over here. Yeah, again, like I barely had to fight anything, but I lost so much and it takes so long. When you're on the, this front line, there's only one troop per turn. Silence devoured Friedland bit by bit. And where silence falls, war is never far behind. Indeed, milady. Our prospects are grim. So if we're going here I now. The gods had a plan. Now I'm not so sure. He can have a catapult. I mean, they need. Times. He needs infantry. That's what he needs. And he could have a catapult, but that doesn't seem worth it. Ah. Yeah, so it's, it's just taking a while to get used to the... What, what are the who are these over here? King Atan, get in your capital, mate. Um, let me just... So if I go here and I... Oh, no, I've already done these, haven't I? So I have to come back and get them. But then I have to go through these guys here. Who are super... We've got, like, a power of four, power seven, three, two and two and it's yeah it feels like it's i've already got into a situation where i'm just throwing units against the wall um to grind down like i'm glad there's no kind of time limit because i'd be screwed if there was um maybe it's just that this map's a bit awkward but like these guys have now taken this crossing point this is where i need to go to get most better units or more mix of units, because this is only giving me two types of units. Um, every time cl clicking, every time clicking on a city, and then if there's a unit in there, having this thing come up is super frustrating, because you have to remember: do not click, right click, or they will m run off. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure about this game. Um, it, it, yeah, it, it, I guess in a way, it reminds me a bit of King's Bounty. Um, I don't know if anyone's played that game, but, but that was a similar kind of turn-based Heroes of Might Magic style game. But basically, it was just about... There was not a huge amount of tactics to the battles themselves. You just got really big units and stomped on the other units. And this feels a bit like that. Get the strongest units and stomp on the others. And then you play the cards, will give you a bit of a boost in battle. I mean, I'm not seeing a huge amount from... Like, one health healing, that feels so bad. Like, what does that do? Like, that health goes instantly in one attack. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not convinced at the moment. I, and just obviously early impressions. I need to play a bit more, but um, I think it needs a bit. It's just lacking something. The battles are lacking something. Um, maybe they get better as you get more skills, more units. But it just feels I've got no agency. I'm just throwing the units together. And then hoping I win. And I have mostly won, but it's causing so much attrition to my units that I'm spending all my time going backwards and resupplying. And they don't heal very much when they're in... Like, it says about healing when they're in a town, but this is the only town I've got because this doesn't heal a town. It's not a healing town. Um, so I need to run back here, heal my units up. It takes... I could sit there for, like, four turns because that's how long it seems I would need. I mean, I've lost all of my cavalry units over here because... I've just not got the time to sit. I mean, my hero's nearly dead. Have I got to sit for, like, however many turns? Um, can I put this in here? Why won't it let me go? I've got one unit left, it says. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, so I, I've, I can't sit around for ages just waiting for them to heal. Um, but if I don't, I'm slowly attr attritioning my forces down. Oh, I did it again. And then, yeah, the, with the clicking, it's a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, Songs of Silence. As I say, it's out now. Ooh, you can see the power of everything. Power of four, power of three, power of six. Unbeatable. And they've now, this is the main issue. This huge force here blocking my way to resupply. Uh, maybe I could have beaten it when I had all my infantry, but now I'm down to, like, knights that walk slowly <laughs> and a catapult. Um, yeah, it's, as I say, it's out now. Uh, give it a look if it looks like your kind of thing. Personally, I'd wait a bit, see how things go in early access. I think it needs a few, tweak, few, bits, few tweaks to certain things to make it feel a bit better. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. All those good things really help me out, really help the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.